COVID-19 testing, as always, is key to tracking the spread of the coronavirus. These new variants require another level of testing beyond the basic COVID test. It's called genomic sequencing, and it's being ramped up across the country. Eric Sorensen explains how and why. We've counted on a simple formula to get us beyond COVID-19, a lockdown to hold it down, then vaccinate to eradicate. The new COVID variants have shaken up that outlook. We're in a very delicate period right now. This virus evolves uh, and changes over time. Even with small numbers so far, the mutations are so much more transmissible that provinces are making changes. We have stepped up our surveillance. We are monitoring and testing. British Columbia has begun random sampling in targeted areas, such as this school in Maple Ridge and at St. Paul's Hospital in Vancouver, after cases of variants were found. B.C. and others, like Alberta and Ontario, are testing a percentage of positive COVID-19 results looking for mutations. And they are genomic sequencing some to identify specific variants. Quebec has announced an $11 million investment to sequence 65,000 positive samples for emerging variants by year end. It's clearly the right path to proceed with caution with these variants. And even though we see case numbers dropping in much of Canada, it's going to be harder and harder to keep that same trajectory if that variant is spreading. Indeed, COVID-19 numbers are coming down. Provinces are looking to reopen schools and the economy, but the variants inject new uncertainty. As schools open, we want to know, are schools going to be accelerating the pandemic? In particular, are they going to be accelerating the penetration of the new variants? We only know that if we do surveillance, and surveillance includes testing. The variants have accelerated the urgency for vaccinations. COVID-19 has spread in the population from one person to the next and then on to many more. From all the infections eventually came mutations. Vaccines can protect the remaining population from the original COVID-19 virus. They may also limit the impact of the variants. Plus, mass vaccination removes an enormous pool of potential infections from which more mutations could develop. Viruses cannot mutate if they don't replicate. And if you stop their replication by vaccinating widely, you will not get mutations. But with vaccine deliveries to Canada stalled by the manufacturers and the growth of variants still an unknown, there are no easy decisions for governments or Canadian health officials. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.